What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. So today we're going to be doing another episode of our five favorite starter houses that have been built by some other creators out here on YouTube. We've put links to all their videos down in the description below if you want tutorials of how to build each of these houses. We really enjoy these houses so if you enjoyed today's video be sure to drop a like down below and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe a lot of different Minecraft content and we so for our list today we want to make sure that all these bases were either fairly simple and very easy to do in the beginning of a survival world or at least use very basic materials that wouldn't be too hard to get and would only take a day or two to actually build. First up on this list we have a creator named Hey I'm Robbie and he has built a very impressive cobblestone and oak house. What I really like about this is the complete simplicity of the materials that he uses. It's very easy to get these and it actually does look very good, especially he does a good job with the interior. Uh, I really like uh, the trapdoor shelf that he does and he's even built a little fridge as you can see there. So he does a lot on the interior to make it look very nice and it's all very simple blocks that you can get within the first couple days of your game. His video is also very well done and very detailed so it makes it very easy to follow along and build. As you can see here he lays out an entire foundation for you and just shows you exactly all the steps he does to build a house like this. And you can see from his inventory here it's very simple blocks and it wouldn't be hard at all to get any of these. The next starter house that we have for you guys today is by a builder named SheepGG. This one is a bit different. It's not exactly a perfect small starter house, but it is a very simple base. A lot of, it's just oak, oak logs, uh, and then dirt for the farm. So you really don't need that many materials. It's mostly just about chopping down a lot of trees. It's a very simple build, but it looks very nice and it looks pretty big. So you definitely have a lot of room to grow in that house. My favorite thing about this base is the use of farms in its design. Farms are super important early game Minecraft and especially later on. So just having these uh, platforms of dirt available to use uh, to make a bunch of wheat, a bunch of potatoes, carrots, whatever you want to grow really. I think that's super important early game and definitely helps out a lot. This base, as you can see here, also has room for animals, which is super important as well, especially if you're trying to get leather or things like that for an enchanting room. It's got a huge storage room, plenty of room for all your stuff that you're going to get early game, and it's also got room underneath the base, which is not quite utilized yet, but you could definitely utilize later for sugarcane farms, uh, cactus farms, anything like that. So it gives you a lot of opportunities to continue building on this house and it's just a nice design to have at the beginning of your world. The next creator that we have is a novice builder in Minecraft. And a novice builder in Minecraft builds a lot of different starter houses and different types of base. This is one of my favorites. It's a circular design, very simple, but looks very nice. It utilizes a lot of oak, uh, basically throughout the entire build. It's either logs, stairs, slabs, just all different types of oak basically. And I really like the way that he used the, the stripped oak. It looks very nice with this build and it really adds to the overall theme of the, the base. Uh, circular designs are probably my favorite designs in Minecraft for houses. And that goes especially for ones like this that are super simple and use blocks that you can get at the very beginning of the game. Of course, the one expensive part of this build is probably the lanterns, but you could definitely substitute torches or other forms of lighting before you're able to get enough iron to actually build these lanterns. It doesn't take that much uh, for what's there, but it is definitely kind of a torch of iron at the beginning of the game. This house doesn't have a lot of storage. It doesn't really have any way to expand unless you're going down or up, but it is a very simple house and definitely great to use at the very beginning of a game and can definitely be turned into something else later on if you're just needing like a watchtower or something else around your village, this would be great. Next up, we have a builder named Spudetti. Spudetti has built a beautiful underground circular base uh, pretty much my favorite combination of bases here. 
and it's got a lot of detail. The video is amazing uh, with the tutorial that she gives on how to build it. She gives you exactly what you need and the exact layout of the design. So it's a really quality video if you need a tutorial on how to build something like this and I would definitely go check it out. But the design of this base is incredible. You saw in the beginning, uh, it looked very nice on the inside with the uh, enchantment table and everything, how it was set up. And I really just like her use of the dark oak and spruce combination here. It looks very nice and the stripped oak especially looks very nice uh, on each of these uh, quadrants. This is definitely a good base for anyone who just wants to build an underground base. There's lots of room to expand in a base like this. You could go out uh, from any direction of the uh, sides and you can go just straight down and build whatever you want underneath all this. This base has everything you need. It's got an enchanting table, it's got a uh, brewing stand, it's got another portal, it's got lots of storage. It's definitely a very quality house to start off any game of Minecraft with and I would totally recommend this. She does a very good job of using shelves uh, to put barrels and the brewing stand, things like that on. It makes the build look much cleaner and much nicer and I really enjoy that about this base. Of course, again, things like cauldrons uh, in this amount can be kind of expensive in the beginning of the game, so it's definitely something you don't have to do right away, but it does look very nice if you're able to do that later on. And a base like this I've even used in my own survival world, and I just turned it into a storage room later on once I have a different base going on. So there's lots of work you can do uh, with this base from the beginning and later on in the world. The next creator that we have is Diorods, and Diorods builds a very nice Tyaga base uh, with spruce and a lot of stone variants. Uh, this base looks very nice and it's also a lot of very simple uh, blocks that you can get at the very beginning of the game, which is always important for a starter house. Uh, in the Tyaga biome, of course, you have the mossy cobblestone, so it's great that he incorporated that into the actual build, and his video is very easy to follow along with. He has the entire house layout right there, and then he goes step by step on what you're going to do for each layer. So it's a great and quality tutorial, and I would definitely check it out because this base looks insanely nice when it's finished. This is definitely one of my favorite block pellets that you can use in Minecraft. I love spruce wood, definitely my favorite wood, and especially if you're using the logs with it, it looks very nice. And it pairs very well with the stone bricks that he has, and he does a good job of using cobblestone down below as the kind of foundations to the house. So it's a very practical build for a starter house and it looks very nice. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We do starter houses, we do mega bases, we cover hermitcraft, we cover mods, we do everything Minecraft, so definitely check us out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.